Hi everyone. Uh, today we will be seeing uh, some of the problem solving. This is a continuation of uh, the first video, and if you have not watched it, and would you like, if you would like to watch it, uh, I have given a link at the bottom. You can uh, go and check it out. Now, in this, we are going to find out the square root for some numbers. Find the square root of 784, and how can we find the square root of 784? We are going to use uh, prime factorization uh, technique so that we can find the square root. Let's say this is 784. Now this number 784 is divisible by 2. So 2 times 3 is 6, 1, 8, 18, 2, 9 is 18, and 2, 2 is 4. So 2, two times 3, 92 gives this. And again, further dividing it by 2, 2 times 1, 19, 2, 9 is 18, 1, 12, 2, 6, 12. And further can be divided by 2, 2, 9 is 18, and 2, 8 is 16. Again, further divided by 2, 2, 4 is 8, 2, 9 is 18, okay, and and this 49 we know is divisible by 7, 7 times 7 is 49. So this, if we want to find the square root, see this is the symbol for square root, and 784 can be written as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 7 times 7. So this whole thing, when you multiply these, that will give you 784, because we have expressed 784 in terms of its prime factors here. So in this case, this is the square root. For every two of these numbers, we can take one two outside. See, we know that for square root of four is two. And how does that happen? Because you have two times two here. Or, in other words, it can be written as two to the power of two, two square, right? then this is the square root. So you take two square root, square root of two square is two, or square root of four is two. So that on that basis, here, we can take one two out for every two of them. So this, I can take one two out. And here, I have two seven, so I can take one seven out. So the answer would be two times two times seven. And this two is for here. 1, 2 here, and 1, 7 here. 2, 2 is 4, 4, 7 is 28. So the answer is 28. So 28, square root of 784 is equal to 28. Let's just check it out, just in case. 28 times 28, 8, 8, 64, 2, 8, 16, 22, and 2, 8, 16, 1, 2, 2, 4, 5. So, 7, 84. Yep, we are right. So, this is the right answer. Now, let's go on to the next problem. Find the square root of 2025. We are going to follow the similar method that we, that, uh, that we did earlier. So, I'm going to write 2025 here, and I'm going to do prime factorization. Since it ends with 5, I can divide it by 5. 5 fours 20, and uh, I, I'll bring 2, and then I have to put a 0 here. So, 5 fives 25. Again, I can divide this by 5. 5 eights 40, and then 1. And now, I know I said I can, I'm can. i doing prime factorization, but my objective is always getting in pairs, numbers in pairs. And 81 is a perfect square, meaning 9 times 9 is 81. So I'm just going to ditch the prime factorization because it's very short here to write in terms of 9 times 9. So what I can write is square root of 2025 is equal to square root of here 5 times 5 times 9 times 9. Now, 
for every two pairs, I can take one of them out. So the answer would be 5 times 9, which is 45. You can check this out. Multiply 45 times 45. It should give you 2025. Now let's move on to the third one. Yeah, here we have the cube root of 512. So the cube root is generally written with uh, this symbol here, just like square root, but there would be a 3 here. E similar, even for square root, but normally you can put a 2 here, but in general practice, we don't do that. If you just write down like this, it's considered as a square root, but for cube root, the 3 should be present here. So again, we will say follow the same uh, procedure, even for cube root. Uh, this number is divisible by 2. So 2 to 4, 11 to 5, 10, 12 to 6. And 2 times 1, 2 times 2 is 4, 16, 2, 8, 16, 2, 6, 12, and 4. And 2 times 3 is 6, 32, 2 times 16, 2 times 8, 2 times 4, which would be 2 times 2. Sorry, I didn't have any space here. But if you look at it, you're going to write all of them. How many 2's we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Nine. Nine twos are there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay. Since it's a cube root, for every three of them, we can take one outside. So again, here is three, here is three. So the answer is going to be two times 2 for this, times 2. So which is equal to 2 to 4, 4 to 8. So the answer is 8. So the thing here is if you have a cube root of, let's say, 2 cube, that is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. So cube root of 8 is equal to 2 because the cube root cancels the power of 3. And that is why we take one number out for every three of them. So this is how we find the cube root. Now let's take another example for the cube root. 5, 8, 3, 2. This is a big number. So I'm just going to put somewhere here. 5, 8, 3, 2. Let's say 2, 2, 4, 18, 2, 9, 18, 2, 1, 2, 2, 6, 12. Okay, 2 times 1 and 2, 4 is 8, 11, 2, 5 is 10, 16, 2, 8, 16. I think it's going to go for a long. Uh, 2, 7 is 14, 2, 2 is 4, 2, 9 is 18. Okay, now we are here. So from here I know I cannot, it's an odd number, I cannot divide by 2, so I have to use 3 here. Um, 3, 2, 6. 1, 3, 4 is 12, and 3, 3 is 9. And again, try with 3. 3, 8 is 24, 3, 1, 3. So 81, again, can be divided by 3. I can write it as 9 times 9, but I just want to continue in this. I'll tell you why. 3 times 2 is 6, 7 is 21, 3 times 9 is 27, and 3 times 3. So you find, say, cube root of, uh, cube root of 5, 8, 3, 2 is written as cube root of, how many 2's? We have 3 2's, 2 times 2 times 2, and uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 3's. So 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So that is it. So again, just like what we did earlier, for every 3, for every 3, we take 1 to outside. 2 times 
again one two comes outside three times again one two comes outside that's three so three two six three six eighteen so the answer is eighteen hope this is clear so this question is again uh, similarly we can use uh, prime factorization to solve this find the smallest value of k when 280k is a perfect square remember this is going to be a perfect square which means the factors if they are two we will have two of them uh, and four whatever number they should be in pairs actually let's take this first 280k right so we don't have to worry about k first let's take 280 first and do prime factorization to 1 to 4 140 and 2 times 70 2 times 35 and uh, here 35 is divisible by 7 or 5 so 7 times 5 is 35 so now what we are getting here is that 2 times 2 times 2 times 7 times 5. Now you see here what is the smallest value of k which means we are multiplying with k. So what can be k when 280 times k is a perfect square. So when I multiply this k to this it should become a perfect square and how will it become a perfect square? Here is a perfect square 4 that, that is there are two twos and this two does not have a pair which means I take this two times seven times five times k when I represent k I need a pair for this two here so times two so that completes this pair and then for this seven I need a seven to complete a pair and then I also need a five so if I do this, you can see that I have pairs here. Here, this two and this two is a pair, and this two are a pair, and this two are a pair. So what am I multiplying with this original is this. So that should be equal to k. So k is equal to uh, 5 to 10. 7 times 10 is 70. So that's the answer. And the second question is asking us to find out 882k is a cube. I used up a lot of space here. So let me try here. Um, the first thing that I need to do is uh, 882. I need to do prime factorization 441 and now I cannot use 2 so I'm going to use 3 3 times 1 is 3 14 3 3 4 is 12 21 and uh, 3 7 is 21 okay 3 times um, 3 4 is 12 and 3 9 is 27 and this is 7 times 7 so for the second one it is 882k times k, correct? So 882 can be written as 2 times 3 times 3 times 7 times 7 times k. And remember, it's going to be a cube. It has to be a, become a cube. To become a cube, all these um, numbers should have at least three of them like there should be three threes three twos and three sevens now two is just one number is there so I need this should become two times two so times I'm just multiplying to this two times two and to make this three I need another three here times three and seven I only have two so I take one more seven so this total thing is the value of k so 3 7 21 and 4 times 21 84 so the answer for the b question is 84 a is 70 i hope this is clear if you have any questions please
uh, contact me. You mean through the comments section, I will try to get back to you, all right? Now, this is another one problem which um, is uh, related to one of the concepts that we discussed earlier. Let's see what concept that is. What is the shortest length? Remember, mark this. This is shortest length. This is key, which can be divided into 4 centimeter, 8 centimeter, or 2 centimeter portions without a remainder. So, shortest length clearly tells us what we need to figure out is LCM. So, let's find the LCM for 2, 4, and 8. Again, factorization, prime factorization, 2 times 1 is 2, and 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 4 is 8. Now, we can further divide this by 2. 1, we don't have to divide, we just write it as it is, but 2, ta two times 1 is 2, and 2 times 2 is 4. So, we cannot uh, further divide this. So, what we have is 2 times 2 times 1 times 1 times 2. So, 2 times 2 times 1 times 1 times 2, which is equal to 8. So, 8 is the LCM of 4, 8, and 2. And so, 8 centimeter is going to be the shortest length, which can be divided into 4. So, 8 centimeter uh, can be divided into 2 fourths. And 8 centimeter can be divided into 1 8 centimeter. Similarly, 8 centimeters can be divided into 2, 2, 2, 2, without any reminders. I hope you enjoyed this session. If you did enjoy, please uh, give me a thumbs up, like, share the video with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day. Happy learning. Bye.